Good day, this is uh, Willem from Bonnie Pens Graphic Design Studio. Uh, today I'm going to show you um, how to update the CMS website. Uh, we've got a new client, uh, NAP uh, Decor.co.za, and uh, they need to update and remove and add new products to their website. So I'm going to use their website uh, just to uh, show you guys how easy it is to, to do this. Um, and this is uh, why CMS websites are so uh, popular these days. Uh, you don't need a, a web designer to update your website, uh, you can do it yourself. First thing we need to do, we'll have to go to uh, NAP's website. It's www.napdecor.co.za. This is the website uh, we finished uh, building today. and. Uh, um, we've created uh, menu and menu links for the client and a uh, complete uh, template and the client's going to update uh, their own website with uh, new products um, and uh, as they buy new products they're going to put it on their website. We already created all the different categories for them. They're uh, going to sell baby furniture, toys, wall stickers, magnetic walls, decor accessories um, as well as the same for toddlers and teens. Um, if I go into one of these categories, let's say baby furniture, you will see that it's completely um, empty at the moment because there's uh, no products uh, uploaded yet. So I'm going to use this as an uh, example and we're going to upload um, a few items to this, um, um, this page and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Uh, first thing that we will have to do is uh, we're going to have to log on to the website's admin console. Um, what we do is uh, I'm just going to copy this um, this address here and paste it here. And uh, each website will have their own uh, admin console. Um, for NAP uh, decor, it's uh, administrator.co.za. First, log out quickly. This is the Joomla 2.5 uh, login screen. Um, I've created uh, a login specifically for this client. Uh, I'm just going to log on as them. Okay, now we've logged on to uh, Joomla 2.5's back in. Um, what I'll do is I'll move between the front end of the website and the back end of the website all the time to show you uh, as we progress. The most important thing for this client will be um, they will access the media manager in this website and as well as uh, the NAP products icon. Um, the NAP's product um, products have been uh, uploaded to an application called Zoo. It enables the client to easily update their own um, um, products in the catalog itself. Um, for us to go back to the control panel, we just go to site control panel, and click on uh, quick icons. First thing uh, the client needs to do is um, they need to make the uh, images that they're going to upload to the site uh, um, upload ready. Um, I've already um, updated a few um, products uh, or the images um, to the correct sizes, so I'll go into the media manager. Um, in the media manager, you will see these different folders that uh, we've created for the client a baby decor, baby furniture, baby magnetic stickers, and so on for all the products. Um, today, we're going to upload uh, some stuff to the baby decor folder. So, uh, the first thing I will uh, do is go into the baby decor folder, and I'll see it's completely empty at the moment. Um, so for us to upload uh, images to this uh, folder, we'll go to the choose file um, icon and then we will go to the uh, folder on our my computer where I've uh, saved the, um, the files. Um, so let's go to um, <coughs> the folder. You will see uh, different uh, images I've already created uh, beforehand. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm uh, just going to upload um, examples. So the uh, first thing I'll do is I'll upload the, um, this wallpaper. Um, 
I've got two images. The first one is the, the main image. Uh, this image is a certain size specifically designed for the client um, to view and this is, will be the preview uh, image. The first thing I do, I double click on that image. I say start upload. I have two images so what I'll do is I'll just go down and I'll uh, upload the, the second image as well. The preview one. I click on start uh, upload. And there I've got two images here, the smaller one and the bigger one. Um, the next thing we have to do is we have to uh, go to Zoo and go and um, update our products. So we go to Site Control Panel. Um, which is taking a little bit long at the moment. Okay, so uh, we've, uh, we're in the front end of uh, or the back end of the website and uh, we've uploaded two images via the media manager. Next thing we'll do, we're going to have to go to Zoo and upload the, the NAP products to the product uh, page. Um, if I go in, you will see I've already uploaded a few other um, products into uh, different categories. And the first thing we'll do, we'll go to New, we click on New. It will open uh, uh, options to select an item. We're going to upload a product. Okay, we're going to have to give our product a name. There's quite a few things we need to fill in here. It's like filling in a form. Um, let's say baby wall paper, and we call it number one. Then uh, we want to publish it. We want to enable this uh, to be viewable on the website. Um, searchable, yes, comments, yes, uh, front page, at the moment, no. Uh, we use the front page when the product's new, we want to display it somewhere in the website as uh, a new product or a front page product. Here we're going to choose our, um, our category where it goes going to go in. Uh, I said we're going to use uh, baby furniture for now. Um, you will see it will update uh, to the primary uh, category. And uh, here we're going to have to uh, just put in a uh, a quick uh, description, a teaser description of the product. We'll say wallpaper for baby rooms. And uh, what we'll do here, we'll just scroll down and you will have to give a complete description of our product. Um, wallpaper for baby rooms nice baby colors and uh, we'll say easy to install and see a uh, price let's uh, rent uh, meter and what we can do we can style it a little bit we can highlight it and uh, just make the price bold Next thing we will have to do is go down. We have to put in our teaser image. That's our uh, images we've loaded. The smaller one. I'll click on uh, select image. Okay, so uh, we've clicked on the uh, select image uh, button, and uh, what we need to go do is go to the folder where we've updated, uh, uh, uploaded those images, and that will be baby. Um, furniture, double click on that folder and uh, yeah, images are not there. Okay, um, I've updated, uh, I've uploaded images to baby decor, not uh, baby furniture and when I double click there it will open now two images we've uh, uploaded here. The first one we will select is our pre, our smaller image, it will update uh, there at the bottom and we will say insert and it inserts it into our uh, teaser image. The next image we'll upload is our main image for the website for that product. We'll go to Baby Deco Accessories again and we'll select our bigger picture. It's updated it there. So press insert and there's our bigger picture in our main uh, image uh, box. Um, next thing we need to do um, 
we can choose if we want to add a related pro uh, product we can click on add item and then we can go and see uh, what products are um, related to this and uh, we can just maybe uh, for now we we'll just choose a toddler G3 uh, and it will update uh, a related product for this product uh, for our zoo uh, category and uh, at the bottom we can choose if we want social buttons like Facebook and Google Plus um, we can put it to yes or no and uh, that's about that um, one more thing we can add metadata we can uh, 